Well, after storms blew through the area, many people are facing damage control. Lafayette resident Brian Kedderson says gusty winds and heavy rains wreaked havoc on his backyard. Seven trees were either uprooted or broken off. A swing set was overturned and a piece of siding was ripped off. In another part of the city, Bobby Smith's entire garage was destroyed and a TV antenna was bent in half. Limbs and branches were ripped from the trees that line his driveway. And while no tornadoes have been confirmed, both men say they suspect that's exactly what happened. All the trees, as you can see, are laying different ways. Nothing straight toward the south or towards the east or west. There are some that are laying northeast, some west. I mean, it, it looks like a circular motion came through here. They said it might have been straight winds, but there was too much swirling, and, and we had things that are in the back of the garage. There's no way they could have got it unless it swirled around and, and uh, threw things that way. So it, it had to be, you know, a tornado. Emergency Management Director of Tippecanoe County, Mark Kirby, says they'll have to wait for word from the National Weather Service before confirming that it was, in fact, a tornado. Well, after a stormy night, many roads remain closed due to flooding. Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Department say State Road 43 is closed between Happy Hollow Road and I-65, as well as 100 North between 550 East and 775 East. Also, the old entrance to Capilano Subdivision and 950 West between 755 and the West County Line as well as 575 East and 700 East. And in Benton County, drivers are on a level 3 warning right now. And in Carroll County, Emergency Management Director Dave McDowell says that in, there is some damage in Carroll County. He says Meridian between 300 North and 218 is closed at this time. Also, County Road 200 North between 125 and 175 West County Road and 550 West are closed north of 200 North. Also, the bicycle bridge is closed west of 1050 West. And McDowell says it appears a tornado touched down in the southeastern corner of the county. He says 14 structures were destroyed and there was a two to three mile string of debris left in the storm's wake. He's waiting on confirmation from the National Weather Service.